Right. First thing is access your Insight dashboard. Go to insight.netgear.com, get your credentials. And once you are on the main menu, on the top, you will find wireless. On the top right, click on settings to open all the wireless settings on that network. On the left menu, you will find Wi-Fi in captive portal. Click on that, select which Wi-Fi you want to edit, and on that little pencil symbol, click to open that wireless LAN settings. On the left, you will find an option to click on Captive Portal. First, you need to enable that feature so that wireless LAN will have its own captive portal. Scroll down and you will see three options, instant captive portal, basic captive portal by default, or external captive portal, which is the one you want. Right there, Insight will tell you, after you do the configurations on GoZone, you need to return to this page to complete setup after finishing the third-party external captive portal service provider. Now, on this drop-down menu, the first option is, of course, GoZone. So, where you see that little square with an arrow to redirect you to their own page, let's click there. And now, I invite AJ to show us how is it done on the GoZone side. Please, AJ. Absolutely. Once you've landed on the GoZone Wi-Fi page, this is on our plans page. So you'll scroll down to see our plans. As you can see, we have several different plans, but for this, we will choose the free starter plan. You'll also need to select which hardware you have. Of course, it's Netgear Insight. You'll put in your venue name, which is your business name, but for this, we'll put in Netgear Demo. Select Continue. And here, you'll just verify and check out. Here you'll enter in all of your information uh, that you'll need for setting up your GoZone account. For this, we'll just choose a random one. Uh, we'll put in Alex. Demo for this sake. A phone number, we'll put in a direct phone number to contact you. Address. This is normally your business address that you'll enter in here. And of course, choose a billing password. I'm gonna copy this just to have it. And then of course, we'll want to select EFT at, as a checkout so you will not have to enter a credit card number. Please remember to make sure that you're selecting the SAS agreement. After that, you'll wait for a series of emails to come through. So we'll just go to my email here. And within your email, you will find, you will have the instructions to set up your advanced captive portal. You'll have dashboard access, and of course, some explainer videos such as how to build a splash page. And the, the final step is setting up your hardware. Within these, you'll have a direct link to our hardware configuration guide, and the information you will need to configure right on the Insight portal. You'll have your radius secret and the radius IP addresses. We'll open the hardware configuration guide and scroll down to find Netgear Insight. Click Setup. And these are all of your steps that you'll need to get going. So we have adding your gateways to your hotspot. So the first thing we'll do is go to the marketing for Wi-Fi dashboard. But if you remember from when we first opened our email, it said in bright red, you will need to select lost password or forgot password so you can have a password reset. 
We'll go ahead and do that now and then go back to our email. We'll have a new email for a password reset. We'll reset our password. And it doesn't matter what whatever password you can remember. <laughs> I know, I know, I, I always forget mine. Then we'll come back and we'll re-log in with our, with our password we just created. And now we are in the smart Wi-Fi dashboard. At this point, you'll go to the left-hand side and you'll select network from the drop-down menu. You'll select gateways. This is where you're going to add in the MAC addresses for each one of your Netgear access points. We'll need to select the hotspot, which is the business name that we entered when we were creating our uh, free starter plan. And the gateway name, you can name it whatever you want. So for this, we will name it Demo Netgear, and we will enter in our, our MAC address for that individual gateway. For the gateway type, we'll need to make sure we are selecting Netgear. And then you'll hit Submit, and your gateway is there with your MAC address listed. At this point, you'll now want to go back to the Netgear Insight portal. Right. It's so easy. I mean, for everybody watching us so far, this is something that you can do anywhere in the world. We sometimes don't configure uh, things like that remotely, but this is a feature because Insight is a cloud-based management platform, you can configure captive portals for your customers from anywhere in the world. I'm liking this very much, AJ, please carry on. Sure, once you're back in the Insight portal, you'll go to your con hardware configuration guide for Netgear Insight. And the first thing we'll do is enter in our splash page URL redirect, which is provided for you right there in the hardware configuration guide. We'll scroll down and under captive portal authentication type, we will want to select the radius button. Now, under our primary authentication server, our IP address, we will enter in the, uh, the first IP address. If you forget, in our email, we have the, the radius secret and the IP address is listed right there. We will enter in the radius secret as our password. For the secondary authentication server, you'll enter in the other IP address. Now, for this password, it will remain the same as, as you entered in the previous authentication server. All of the passwords are the, are the same for the configuration for your individual Insight portal. For the primary authenticating server, or accounting server, for the primary accounting server, it will be the same as the pr primary authentication server. And for the secondary accounting server, it will be the same IP address as the secondary authenticating server. And again, the passwords will remain the same. Once you're finished with this, we'll scroll down. We will just confirm that failsafe is disabled. Allow HTTPS is also disabled. And now finally, we'll enter in our walled garden information. Now this information can be found right in the hardware configuration guide. We're just double checking our steps at this point. And all the way here on step 14, you'll see the walled garden entries. Here, you can simply copy all of them. And then back in your Insight portal, we'll come back to walled garden and then we'll paste them right in here. And don't forget to hit add. So now all of those walled garden entries are now listed in your Insight portal. AJ, stop, stop, please. Before we go, for people that are here in the concept of walled garden for the first time, can you explain? Sure. The walled garden allows for certain websites to be accessible within a closed ecosystem for all operations. 
Right. So it is like the, the VIP list of websites that can be part of this ecosystem. Absolutely. Cool. Now, please carry on because I want to see the end of this. Yeah. So we'll go back to our video here. Absolutely. 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 Once you've entered in those walled garden entries, you'll click save and that finishes the entire configuration process.